Maybe we can go check that out. Like a shotgun should do more to a death claw. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. <laughs> this shack right here. Oh, that guy's dead. Take his pistol, but it's just it's just not worth it. the bobblehead I haven't even been looking when I'm looking for a bobblehead I can't find a bobblehead when I'm not looking for the bobbleheads I find a fuck ton guess this usually how it goes though I want radioactive whiskey.
I think that's all there is here. Alright, found a big book of science. I guess that's something. And the, the DC one. Huh. That was a little depressing. Is that just a shack out there in the middle of nowhere? I'm gonna guess yo guy. Oh, red's going. <laughs> There's a death claw. Ooh, what'd he kill? Oh, damn. An albino rad scorpion. No wonder he uh he was hurting there for a little bit. if you can use the poison glands for anything other than the cell super mutant that looks like a super mutant Okay, I uh, did not <coughs> see him. Oh, we're gonna pop a psycho. Um, like a bunch of stim packs. Do not have Jet? Where's Jet? Not dog meat. I didn't want to move down. Well, I'm glad these guys at least know how to cook. I mean, it's human flesh, but you know. Death Wish King Gaming. Hey there. How you doing? Abandoned shack.
See, I feel like that guy should be. You know. Oh, is there more? Oh. Mike, thank you. Thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. You'd know best, wouldn't you? Karma. Hey, Remy. Relaxed wear. Go lay down, Remy. What? Who? You mean, are you for real? I'm safe? I, I need to get out of here. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. Here, thank you again. Is this a good mod? Uh, there is... I, I'm not running a mod. This is clean, old-fashioned Fallout 3. Oh god. Well, hello, safe. Okay, I'm pretty sure this place is, you know, liberated. All our is only to be captured by mutants. You have been chosen by a new faction. Your faction is to lead them to control, conquer, or just thrive with your faction full of mutants, skills, and humans. Oh, um. One sec, let me look. Uh, you, the Vault of All Emerges, only to be captured by you. have been chosen by a new faction. Your faction to lead the control. Conquer or just thrive. Uh, it, it sounds like an interesting mod. I 
I haven't really messed too much with uh, Fallout 3 modding just because um, it's not really. Fallout 3 itself isn't really stable on Windows 7. So. I don't really try messing with it too, too much. This place is so freaking mountainous. You have to build. You will have to build an area of your choice and use it to your advantage. <coughs> Sounds like an interesting mod. Sounds like they're trying to like make it. Um, I've seen other games that are like that. What the hell? I did not kill that. Close in mind to whatever I'm running to. Oh. Gotta figure out a way to Oasis. I know I'm technically running right now, but man, I wish there was a way I could run faster. This looks promising. A lot of people build a rivet bridge from a hill to the highway. Which is not a pretty good... It, honestly, it sounds pretty good. Ooh, hey, found Oasis. Outsider, you have arrived. Please, come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Tree Father Birch. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Excellent. Please follow me. All will be explained soon. I'm curious if those are actually coming out of him, or... You are welcome amongst us, outsider. Well, it's nice to be welcomed to a town rather than being, you know, like, shot at, or, hey, hey, dude, what the fuck are you doing here? Okay. You don't usually see... Some shit's happening here. Trees don't grow this close to each other, so... For a sec there, I thought the little girl welcome was in charge. Outsider. We are, you are welcome amongst us, outsider. Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. I'm gonna sit on the throne. I am now your leader. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Where do you pluck stuff in? <laughs> no, I suppose you haven't. In fact, few who live outside of Oasis have. 
Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a God Tree. A living, breathing, speaking God Tree. So an end? The Tree Minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Yeah, I guess why maple stuck a rifle in my face. <laughs> Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. I think I would have. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. So, like, radiation. I'm assuming it's radiation. Very good. Take... Is everyone here old? Drink the sap from the basin. Am I gonna die? We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the globe. I think we depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his redoom. Amen. Soon... You will pass peacefully into sleep, Outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. 